Glaciers. Last time we saw the Nasty Girls out, I hope Misty Blue Sims had a chance to see a tape of that match because basically this is almost a two-on-one situation. It's supposed to be Misty Blue Sims against Nasty Cat, but you just know that Nasty Linda is not going to stay out of that ring. That's true, Killer. much wanted to be the world tag team champions and they can stop with nothing to do with it. They're in against a real green veteran right now and a woman that can uh, take on four or five and she needs to and that's Misty Blue Sims. Well, one, the only good thing is at least I'm glad to see Eddie Shark is not refereeing this man. Well, Eddie uh, is a capable referee but uh, the last couple matches I kind of question is uh, Well, right now, as you said, Mr. Blue is as crafty and as capable as they come. And she's so far not letting Nasty Cat get any upper advantage. A little little secret out of the bag. I've helped train Misty myself, too, so. Well, you know, I was going to ask you, she comes out of Glacier Falls, New York. That's not too far from where uh, you reside part of the time up in Connecticut when you're not hanging around the barracks in Paris Island. That's right. Uh, Misty and I uh, get uh, into the ring quite a bit. She's a... Uh, woman in that ring and uh, knows all the moves. My only question is, Sarge, have you taught her the Cobra Clutch? No, I haven't taught her that one yet. Well, right now, Nasty Cat not wanting very much to do with Misty Blue Sims. And keep a watchful eye on Nasty Linda down in ringside. Look at that. Just pulls her right across by the hair. Made no bones about it. The thing that I don't like about the Nasty Girls Right now, they don't seem so much intent on winning a match as just feeling out as much hurt as they can on their opponents and right now. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You see Nasty Linda at ringside. Well, they're just, uh, their minds are completely on those World Tag Team Championships. And when they're in single matches like this, I don't think they really care about the rule book. They can't win that title by breaking uh, every rule in the book and getting disqualified. Now, Sarge, how do you go about trying to prepare for a match like that when you know the rule book, you know, there is no rule book, they don't do anything, including using those sticks they carry in the ring. Now, there again, there's Nasty Linda going out doing some damage to Misty Blue. Now, Misty Blue heads out after her. Well, the only way to prepare for the Nasty Girls is climb in a closet with a couple of mad cats and fight your way out. Either that or try and get somebody to come out the ring. Now, there again, right away, She had. Well, I've trained a lot of men in my life, and uh, it's nice to see some of the ladies that I've been training uh, come to the top of the, uh, of, the, of the ladder in the world of uh, women's professional wrestling. There you see Nasty Linda still carrying that stick around and here at ringside. <laughs> well, Misty Blue, uh, I think, is trying to get Nasty Cat's goat a little bit, and uh, she may have done that. She's a smart, smart lady in that ring. Hoping to get the cat to make a mistake. Whoa! -ho! Take a look at that. Talk to the of form of a flying DDT. Like to see Misty uh, possibly uh, get herself a manager to keep some of this outside interference. Well, if you're a mind, we might be well excused you here from ringside for a minute or two. I don't think Nasty Lynn or Nasty Cat will want to tangle with you, buddy. Well, they got uh, Misty Blue Sims' uh, dandruff up here. She's starting to tear the clothes off of this uh, Nasty Lynn. Now, take a look right there. There again, Nasty Lynn just takes her hair and pulls her right into the ropes. I don't know if you want to get down. Misty Blue says, all right, you want to wrestle? Come on in the ring. I'll take you both down, but let's get you both in. Now, there again, she's distracted. Nasty Cat comes up from behind to gain the upper hand. I think the LPWA needs to take some serious looks at when the Nasty Girls are wrestling in single matches. The other one has to stay back in the dressing room. Well, they just got to tell the referee to take better control of the match. That's what they got to do. Now, Nasty Cat goes up on that second row, flies off. 
Which he catches Misty Blue. But look at that. Misty throws it right off. That was a tremendous move by Misty. I think she just took the flow right with her. And Kat goes right back to work on those boots. You see she's using the rope to the advantage of the nasty Kat. Well, referee Jesse Hernandez caught her and her under her break. Let go and Misty just rolled her right over. Now pulls her out towards the center. A step over toe hold. She's trying to set her up, I think. She's trying to get her in a figure four. And she's just about there. I've been in this one with Misty at the uh, training camp. But now, look at that. She turns her right around. She's got a half Boston crab. She's got a half Boston crab. And you talk about the pain in the lower back. Now, take a look. Here's what's happening. Nasty Cat's trying to reach out for Nasty Linda. She caught the rope. Referee had to order the break. She definitely slowed Nasty Cat down on that one. That's what you got to do sometimes with this uh, tough. Tough lady wrestlers is to slow down. She didn't slow down for long, though. No, she certainly came right back. You gotta give the nasty girls credit. Like them or not, well, I tell you, they battle you every inch of the way. She tries to wrap her up. Tries to catch her in a little package, small package. 